Hey guys, this is Airsoft NCT and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going over my preferred sleeping setup for broken arrow events, or in other words, how to tie your ranger roll. The fantastic thing about this sleep setup is it's really only two parts. Uh, first you have your poncho, and then you have your poncho liner. If you're an 80s dude or later, you call that a wooly kinda, but it's a poncho liner for Vietnam events. So what we have here, again, is my 53-day poncho and my 68-day poncho liner. Now, this poncho is exactly the same all the way through the Vietnam heavyweight one. There is a ripstop lighter weight one that could be used for later war, um, but this is what I have, especially for early war and just what I have in general, because uh, it serves the purpose and it is pretty darn durable. So let me show you how to tie the ranger roll now. Now, the way you're gonna do this is tie each of these ties on your poncho liner into one of the rivet holes in your poncho. We'll do that and I'll show you guys what the final product looks like in a bit. For the record, I do like to double knot it just to be extra secure. Um, you can do it again however you see fit or if you were taught a different way, go for it. But that's the way that I like to do it. Once I have my two knots, I like to finish it off with the bunny ear method. Just so it kind of looks pretty. center seam will be going horizontally along your poncho. Uh, if you do need to set it up beforehand before you make any of those final ties, make sure it goes horizontally again. There's a bunch of ways that you can tie these. Um, however, I prefer to do one over, one under, and then tie them both together. Now you can get nice and comfy inside your ranger roll. There's one more thing that I like to do specifically with my ranger roll that makes sure it stays dry, especially when it's packed up. And that's how I roll it. So again, there's multiple methods and ways to do it. How I've done it for previous events is I take each of the halves, or each of the sides I should say, and fold it right into the middle of the poncho. So you do each of those. Looks kind of comfortable. Then you fold in each of the sides. If you'd like to, overlap a bit. In fact, I think for this setup specifically, I'm going to roll it just a hair tighter to make sure that it looks okay. I'm going a little over halfway with one of them. And then we will roll it up. So now what we have is a ranger roll that no edges are exposed or anything. So it'll stay dry when it's on your ruck. Oh yeah. You can also tie it up with one of these shelter half straps. This is gonna keep it nice and tight inside the ruck um, because again, there's a lot of pressure on these. Well, not a lot, but there's pressure. So enough to open it up and you don't want that because you don't want your poncho liner getting wet. So what I'm going to do is just one right down the middle to keep it relatively sealed off from the elements while I have it in my ruck. And there you have it. That is how I tie my ranger roll for broken arrow events. Hope you all enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one. 